Claire, Claire, have you gotten the period yet? No? All right. Well, you're definitely putting on weight. So, what is it, 20 pounds? Past two months? No, three. All right. Well, it looks like more from here. So, all right. Well, that's a good sign. I'm going to keep checking in, though. Keep checking in. All right. Just three. Huh? Okay. No? All right. You do know that what you're doing is not dribbling, right? Now, where are your parents? Where's your mother? Where's your father? Go inside and ask them to Google incompetent. Tell them that Joan on Dowagiac would like to know that she has the right definition. And while you're at it, Google dribbling. So this week we have our annual fitness test at school. And I always like to get the best grades I possibly can in anything that I do. And so I am decided I just, I'm going to put in some training for this because, you know, I study really well for my tests and I always get straight A's. Um, so I'm going to try my best to get as close to an A as possible. <laughs> Feel it. Thank you. Birdio is calling. Oh my God, the sign is gone. Can't call my manager because Consumer Cellular turned off my phone. They turned it off. I guess I forgot to pay the bill, but I can't hear you. Okay, but are you gonna still give me a ride or do I need to take the bus? Do I need to take the bus, Sergio? I can't hear you. This really sucks. It was my birthday yesterday, so I got to pick the song we were going to play on our xylophone. So I picked the Stephen Bishop penned Phil Collins classic, Separate Lives. But they didn't have the sheet music for it. So they said that we would just have to do Good King Wenceslas. My mom said that we could celebrate all week and I got to pick where we go to dinner. So tonight I picked that we go to the Target snack bar. Mom, Mom, on the way to dinner, can we listen, can we listen to Joni Mitchell's Blue? Because I just, I really think this is gonna center me for my next phase of life. Hi guys, welcome back to an all new Doherty's Doodads. Today I'm gonna share a doodad with you that I've had ever since I was a little kid. This doodad is from the greatest fairy tale of all time, The Cat and the Hamburger. The cat in the hamburger tells the story about the cat who travels the galaxy with the power of his mind on his UFO hamburger along with his best friend, an old shoe cobbler, but the old shoe cobbler dies when he slips on a pickle and falls into the galaxies. Oops. Sure everybody will read up on this old classic tonight. And I'll see you next time. Tomas! Give me an Evian, please. Do I look like a savage? Put it in the glass, Tomas. And Tomas, did you order the tickets for the king and I? It is you, Brenner, Tomas! I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night. Did you get the tickets, Tomas? Yo, Brenner. Hey, I'm Deb Patterson, and welcome to Getting Around with Deb. Today, we're gonna discover the historic city of Orange. So come along, we're gonna check out all the antiques, the eats, and everything in between. I just, I, I feel like there might be a law against calling someplace Muffs Antiques. There are kids here in Orange, that's all I'm saying. Sure Tipper Gore wouldn't like that. I think they have Mr. Bill cookies. So the peppermint mocha frappuccino. Like it hits you with this unexpected peppermint. It's, it's like it's like it's Tuesdays with Maury, but it's the Thursday. <laughs> Anderson, I think everybody should be able to go out and have a cup of coffee in a casino, but it's not my job to figure out how they're going to make the coffee. It's not my job to tell them how they're going to put the cream in their coffee. That's that's not my job, and I think it's gonna be fine. I had a neighbor who had syphilis. Tristan, your team didn't make the playoffs, did they? You're never leaving LA, are you? Courtney, this coffee isn't mine. Must be yours, it tastes bland. <laughs> 